your family is the epitome of fabulous. Thank you. you. And what we've seen, I think, especially with your older girls, is that there's a real understanding of the word privilege. And especially Aoki, I love following her on TikTok. Aoki. Yes, shout out she's, to Aoki. She, shout out Aoki, she's my feisty one. Stop beating around the bush. I know that I benefit from nepotism in modeling and fashion hugely, right? My parents don't get my job, they don't believe in that, but I benefit from their name, their success, the privilege I've grown up with, like countless things, and I'm well aware of that. What are those conversations that you have with your kids about having so much privilege? I'm like any mom, I fuss at them, they're not doing enough, they could be doing more. Why don't you have a job? She reminds me, you know, I have many. She, you know, also is, is starting to model, so she's like, hey, I have a job. Um, or they'll tell me, mom, we're going to school. You told us as long as we went to school, got good grades, we were respectful. That was our job. And I said, okay, so these are all good points. Yes. But That's a full-time job in and of itself. It is. Being a student at NYU, being a student at Harvard. But I want more. And they know it and they give it. Okay. And that's the point. To whom much is given, much is expected. So they know whether it's from the littler kids, like if you get a new gift, then you should give a gift because you have you know, a toy in, a toy out. Um, that's a good policy. To, yeah, recycling clothes. It could be something simple, something that you think is so not cool anymore. I wore it already this many times. Someone else, that's the biggest and best thing they've ever seen, the brightest thing they've ever seen in their life. Um, so they know, and I have this concept that I've talked about a lot throughout my life, which is that I don't want to raise kids that are a-holes. And Point I, blank. I, I, <laughs> and I, they're not. They're good kids. They're beautiful kids. Yeah. You know, we have a wonderful, crazy mixed tribe. They're all busy, but they it's just something that's been instilled in them since they were born. You know, Ming will say, she walks down the street in New York. Aoki will say, she walks down the street in Boston and the people will wave or they'll come give you a hug. And sometimes they're a little frightened. And I'm like, you have to understand, like, people think you're their cousin or they grew up with you or they grew up with you on TV. Like, now you're 22. They remember you from when you were We watched you grow up, literally. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All of these things are very, small price to pay for being given, you know, something so great. So they know um, inherently that that's kind of like their job, God-given yeah. job, God-given talent to make someone else happy. Do you follow Aoki on, on TikTok? I do. She's a little feisty. And I always say- In a say, great way. Yes, I believe that. I always say, are you too feisty, Aoki? You better watch it. And she, what if someone comes with the opposing view and it's like too much heat? You know what she said to me? Mom, since when have I not been feisty? Yes, I can take a little heat. And I wrote facts. Yeah. <laughs> She's okay. That's it. Yeah, I you know, I want to get this right. She made a video about being called a quote nepo baby. And she was unpacking the good and the bad that comes with that. Nepotism is often a huge problem, especially when it boxes out people who don't have that privilege but are as or more qualified than people who are getting the opportunities. How does that make you feel? Sometimes I'm a little worried. So in my household, I'm always like yelling, like, is that okay? Is that too see-through? Is that too short? Did you piss <laughs> off the wrong person? And they're all like, mom, are you going soft on us? Cause this is not like the same queen of fabulosity. This is not the Kimura we, we grew up. Yes, with I, the feistiness. I, I, but I think in my life, that's what we do. We have, you know, drama, they're ready. She's like, bring it on. But it makes me very proud. It makes me very uh, proud and happy that she can show both sides. It makes me feel really warm inside that I raised her the right way. And you know, I'm a, I'm a single mom. And I, when people say, oh, your kids are so this and that, and you guys, I'm like, you've got me guys, we guys, me, myself, and I. Um, not to say that they don't have other influences in their life, of course, but to say that all of these things just make for a well-rounded like person. It sets the stage for her for her future in such an amazing way. And now it's so wild because, you know, I, I grew up watching you, revering you, and then to see your daughters stepping into your shoes. They're now pursuing modeling yes, in the entertainment yes. industry. Can you believe it? I can. Your genetics? I did not, was not expecting that. Really? What? Were you dissuading them? Yes. Why? <laughs> and I'm not supposed to tell you that. Today, Yoki was like, don't go there and say that, but I was. <laughs> Why? Oh. Ayoki is really hardcore into modeling. Whereas Ming, I think, is a little bit more of an influencer type, less uh, a straightforward model. I've experienced so much. Since I was 12 years old, I've been in this business. We didn't have, you know, Me Too back in the day. We didn't know about a lot of things that we know now. We didn't have the rights. We didn't have the wherewithal. When I say we, I mean women, young women, people of color, you name it. We didn't have all of these things that the kids 
kind of have now. So if I didn't, if I, I wouldn't choose it for her if I had to push you into something of a career. And a lot of times people say, you know, but you went to Harvard and then why would you go and model now? And sometimes I'm like, yeah, yeah. But then on the other side, I'm like, wait a minute. Well, why wouldn't she? She's allowed you're, to have aspirations. You're allowed to yeah. have aspirations. You're allowed to have fun. I think a lot of times they weren't, we weren't expected to have it all. Like who said you could have brains and beauty? Who said you could go to Harvard and also walk down a runway? Well, we're telling you that. That's what you we're know? doing here. And there was a time also where we all know, because we've grown up, we've grown up in the public light, that Aoki was very shy, very much a wallflower. When she first started her social media, she wouldn't even show her face. And now she's telling people what the business is. Yes. You know? We're business women too. That's what's underneath it all. Don't let the beauty of she, of her, confuse you. Yeah, we're business women. Yeah. I have an empire I'm turning over to my kids. And they gotta make sure they can run it. Yeah, run that. And uh, and they support me and I support them. And it doesn't matter what you look like, but you look great. But it matters what's up here. And that's something that no one can take away from you. But hey, while you're 20 and beautiful and you look go like model. a beautiful butterfly, go right ahead. Go model. So. As they're navigating that, what have you told them, best advice you've told them, and as you're now going through it with these different eyes, what are you learning about what they're experiencing? I tell them things like my mom told me, like don't accept any wooden nickels, which means like be, be care, beware of people's phoniness and their phony intentions. Be real to yourself, stay true to yourself. Everything that's, you know, glitters is not gold. I try to teach them things like that, but also have fun. It's a lot. I mean, you know, I thought Yoki was going to be, we thought she was going to be like an archaeologist or a professor or something like that. You were but like, I please think, study archaeology. Don't something. go into modeling. <laughs> but then yeah. she said, but then she said, well, mom, then you have to support me forever because I'll be a teacher. So she'll need some family coin. And I thought, talk about privilege. I'm not supporting you forever, girl. Who supported me forever? Me, myself and I. So yeah, we, you can be an archeologist, but you have to be a businesswoman too. And if modeling is, is half of that, you know, and there's a lot of girls doing a lot of things that are, it could be worse. You were born on the runway, so I guess That's it's, it. you know, it's you my fault. Accept, accept it, <laughs> I yes. will, and I'm there every step of the way. I'm the mom that was crying on TV when they blow dried their hair the first time. I saw it. I'm yes. there every step of the way, and people know that. Yeah, so. well, nobody better cross those girls. Yeah. Hey, let's give it up for Miss Kimora, guys, let's go! We came here to hang out. We brought you guys some fun, some food trucks, some school supplies. We know that it's like a crazy time of year for everybody to get back to school. It's a crazy time for parents. It's a crazy time for kids. The work that you're doing with the Boys and Girls Club is just so wonderful. Tell me why it's not only important for you to get involved, but for you to impart that on all five of your kids. All my life, I've been giving back, so it's kind of a selfish concept, if you would, because so much joy comes out of that. Very rarely do I even want to show up <laughs> anywhere unless it's like giving back. I don't want to talk on the phone unless I'm, you know, begging someone for money for someone else. I'm very good at that. But when I'm giving it to the kids, oh, I'm relentless. My family, my kids, I know it's like cliche, but like to whom much is given, much, much more is expected. So to be able to, yeah, bring them some joy, get them ready, to be able to give them school supplies, they can go back with like a little confidence, like yeah. feeling fabulous. Any little thing that can make it better, go over a little smoother and send our kids off. Thank gosh, they're going back. But send our <laughs> kids off with a little more confidence and a little more, you know, a little brighter smile. Yeah. It's, it's a like win. The highlight of my life. <laughs>